What's going on YouTube? White Boy Waves back at it again, bringing you guys another video. Um, so today is Monday. Uh, I decided to start a little series called uh, Wave Tip Mondays. Um, I know, how original, right? Um, so what I'm going to do from now until, you know, I don't even know when, um, I'm going to start giving you guys some tips. A lot of my subscribers, um, just random people asking me, you know, hey, I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to think about getting into waving. Um, can you hit me off with some tips that could help me, you know, get on my way? So, um, I figured, you know, a lot of people ask me for tips in general. So I figured, you know, I'm going to hit you guys with some tips every single Monday. Um, as far as category wise, it may vary up a little bit. Um, from time to time, sometimes I might say, you know, some tips on this product or this product and, and you know, how I use it or how you should use it. Um, but I think this week, um, <clears throat> since, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me, um, I'm going to give you some tips on beginning um, beginning your wave journey. So um, I'm going to call this one uh, tips on starting out. So uh, first tip. Um, when, when cutting your hair, obviously you need to cut your hair, um, when you start out. I don't care. Um, you know, if you're, if you're at length, lengthwise, you're at like week seven, week eight, you have to cut your hair. Um, you have to start brushing and training your hair when your hair is shorter. Um, so as far as length, um, I recommend either a two or a three with the grain, depending on how, how thick your hair is. Um, and the reason why is because... If you have thicker hair but it's still straight, you can get away with a two, um, you know, brushing and brushing and brushing. You, you can, you can, um, you could uh, sacrifice that extra week or that extra length um, because your hair is going to thicken up quicker. Um, all you people with coarse hair, you can go as low as a one. Um, your hair will um, maintain its thickness down to a, down to a one. Um, when I started out. I started out like an idiot. I, I, it was just spur of the moment to start waving, but um, <clears throat> I was like a number one on top with a bald fade on the sides. Um, that is ridiculously short. Do not do that. I didn't start getting waves until like week five because of that. So uh, take, take my advice, learn from my mistakes, go down to like a number two. I say if you have hair, if you look at my videos and you have hair that looks like mine, go to a number two. Um, I will tell you this, when I decide to get a haircut, I'm going to a number three with the grain. Um, you could even go to a two against the grain um, if you're feeling like your hair is a little bit thicker. Um, but definitely go with the grain um, if your hair is really, really straight and not thick at all. Tip number two is the top two products that I recommend starting out. Now starting out, let me get this straight, starting out I mean the first two weeks, okay? So, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, that's like the bread and butter question I get is, when I first start, what product should I be using in week one and week two? Because I didn't cover it on my product video. And there's a good reason why I didn't pro cover it on my product video, because I didn't use any products for my first two weeks. So, what I recommend is, your first two weeks, and I'm counting this as a product, yes I am, go out and get you either, depending on how, depending on how thick your hair is, Go out and either get a medium brush from from Crown Quality. <clears throat> I'm not hating on any Diane brushes, but this stuff definitely will give you waves faster. Okay? I will take that to the bank. Okay? Or if your scalp cannot take it, go out and get yourself get yourself a softy. Okay? That is product number one. Um, if you get technical and you don't want to count a brush as a product, then only get one product. The one product that I recommend, sorry, I had to bend down and get it. Um, the one product that I do recommend for the first two weeks, and I didn't use this during the first two weeks, but I didn't find out until about week five, week six. Bam, right there. Get this stuff right here, because this stuff will help thicken your hair. Thicken and strengthen, okay? Notice how, okay, so I've, t I've told a lot of people get, to ca get some castor oil. And I showed a different castor oil in my products video, but that stuff didn't even work for me. That's like castor cream, okay? This is castor oil, okay? Go out, purchase this stuff. It was like five bucks, all right? That's how much I've used in the, in the past four weeks, all right? 
This stuff will last you forever. It's made by Hollywood Beauty. All right, see that? This is the stuff that you need to buy. Okay, if you're only if you're gonna buy a bunch of products, you might as well keep them on the shelf until week three, even week four. But bam, use this stuff. Okay. The way that I recommend using it, this is a tip, the way that I recommend using that castor oil is when you first start out, <clears throat> I would probably only use it maybe three times a week. Um, so every other day, say. Um, and I would use it as soon as you get out of the shower. So, um, and another tip, um, this is like 2A, tip 2A, okay? Um, you're going to continue to brush your hair only twice a week, okay? Um, and the reason why is because when you first start out, you want to get a lot of those natural oils to, stim to start building up in your hair, okay? Those natural oils are probably more important than any hair oil that you can buy. Um, but anyway, so knowing that you should still only wash your hair twice a week, um, you're st if you still use this every other day, like you should, that means that you're going to use it once after you after you wash your hair a week. Um, the other two times that you use it a week, you're only going to be using it after you run the water through your hair. Okay, so so days that you wash your hair, you're going to wash your hair like you normally would. Watch my washing video, my shower method video. Do that. Get out of the shower. Put some of this castor oil in. Throw your rag on. Throw your suit rag, do rag, whatever you do. Put it on. Take it off. 45 minutes later, brush the shit out of your hair. Okay? If, if you're only running water through your through your hair, okay, if you're taking a shower and you're only brushing water through your hair, get out of the shower like you normally would and put it on anyway, okay? So it's the same as far as applying the product whether you wash or you don't, okay? So, so two, top two products for the first two weeks is going to be BAM and BAM, okay? And like I said, if you can't, if, you, if this hurts your head too much, um, either A, stop brushing your damn head so hard, or um, get yourself a softie, alright? But to make it a lot easier is if you got the money, just buy a hard, a medium, and a soft from Crown Quality um, right off the bat, okay? So, um, let's start talking about <clears throat> should I wash my hair day or night? Um, personally, it doesn't really matter, okay? Believe it or not, I get a lot of those questions. Um, do what is what is more convenient for you. Um, what I recommend is, is if I had to recommend anything, I would say at night. And the reason why is because when I wash my hair, okay, I wash my hair and either put castor oil in or curl enhanced smoothie in. Um, and having that in your hair all night is definitely good, okay? That's one of the products that I would recommend leaving in for a little bit longer than 45 minutes I'd say even an hour and a half is probably tops but you know if you had to put a product in your hair and go to sleep on it I would say one of those two okay so um, <clears throat> if you wash your hair when you wake up that's no biggie alright um, but as far as putting products in put it in as soon as you get out of the shower I don't care I mean if it's day or night um, somebody asked me I can't remember your name forgive me but um, somebody asked me uh, if I if I'm washing my hair at night, should I still put pomade in? You have to realize that pomade is just to lay your hair down. It, does, it has no other benefit to your hair other than laying it down when you're wolfing. Um, so chances are, if you're going to sleep, you don't need to lay your hair down. Your your do rag or su rag is going to do you know it's justice while you're sleeping so no pomade before you go to bed and especially if it's inorganic you're just adding all those extra chemicals to your hair that you don't need for a long extended period of time if you understand what I'm saying so <clears throat> to answer your question I know I already inboxed you back but do not put the pomade in unless you're going outside to where you need your hair to look presentable and lay down alright other than that I don't care what you put in your hair at night just you know Make sure it's a small amount and preferably organic. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the difference between day or night. <clears throat> uh, tip number three. Actually, that was number three. Tip number four. Um, for the first two weeks, all I did was brush. All right. That doesn't mean that you have to do that. Um, you could technically do whatever you want. This is just a tip video. Um, 
you know, uh, preferably water and brushing, especially when your hair is not thick enough to wave up. You don't need any products until your, your waves are starting to come in. Um, those other products will actually facilitate the process of you waving, but as far as what it's going to do for your waves, if you don't have any, there's no need to put any products in, okay? That's very important. I can't drive that home enough that, you know, washing your hair twice a week, running water through your hair every single day of the week, and brushing and brushing and brushing, do-ragging it at night still, okay? So still, just because you don't have waves doesn't mean you don't do-rag it at night. Um, but yeah, all of those things combined um, will, will be enough for the first two weeks. I know everybody's so quick to product, 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 you know, I'm buying all these products and I don't even have long enough hair. It's a waste of money until, you know, week three, week four. Um, so that's tip number four. Tip number five, um, a lot of people ask me, when should I start using Curl Enhance and Smoothie? So, this is a very, very debatable subject um, because I've only used this stuff on my hair and watched other people that have very coarse hair that do, that do a lot of YouTube videos that use the Curl Enhance and Smoothie. So, I can technically only vouch for myself for this. Um, my hair did not get thick enough until I'd say week 6, week 7, maybe even week 8 to start using Curl Enhance and Smoothie. This stuff is not going to do anything to your hair until it's thick enough and long enough, okay? I mean, it's, it's hard, it's such a touchy subject because people hear so many good things about it that they want to just, you know, right off the bat, just start bam, bam, bam. This stuff, I used it once whenever I was in week three, week four. It did, it did nothing. It just moisturized my hair and it made it even more straight, okay? So, I can definitely say... Don't start using the Curl Enhancer Smoothie until, I'd say, week five. All right? So if I had to give you a definitive answer, week five. If you got straight hair like me, week five is the way that you want to do it, okay? And even then, in week five, you probably only want to hit it once a week, okay? This is not an everyday product for me, okay? Because, once again, as I explained in other videos, it's like a moisturizer, and I don't need to moisturize my hair every day, all right? Uh, just a little side tip, um, a lot of people, it's not even a tip because I can't give you any information about it. A lot of people ask me about S-Curl, no drip. Um, I've never used the product. I can't tell you anything about it. From what I've heard, it's just a moisturizer. So, I mean, if it makes you happy, go out and get it. I know it's an old school product. Um, I've even seen it at my Giant Eagle before. So, you could pretty much get it almost anywhere. But, um... I have no idea. I, I've seen a couple of Latino dudes making videos that have used it and they swear by it and that's their go-to product. To be honest, I think once your hair gets long enough, you don't even really need products, but if you're using any product, it's going to feel like it benefits you. So it could just be a psychological thing. It could just be uh, the product that you're using at that time and, and you know, with you brushing and everything, you're, you're developing your waves naturally anyway. So it may just be like that just so happens, a coincidence that it works. Um, but what I would actually recommend over S Curl No Drip is the beautiful textures. I don't need to show it to you. Um, it's like a wave butter and what um, I have saw from a lot of the moisturizers that are a little bit more runny um, and the wave butter has a, a lot of extra curling um, properties to it. Um, anything that's creamy or a butter um, those things tend to actually enhance your curls as it is. Um, the moist, uh, the the uh, beautiful textures has the same consistency as curl enhanced and smoothie, so they probably more than likely work about uh, in the same way. Um, so that's what I would recommend over S Curl. There's other there's other moisturizers that you can use. Um, for example, I've used this stuff too. This is basically the same thing that you, I mean, it's almost the same thing. A moisturizer is a moisturizer. I don't think there's any ingredients in the S-Curl No Drip that provides an extra um, curl ability. This stuff actually has humectant in it, and that does a lot for um, shining. Um, this has, it says, triple conditioners, triple moisturizers for smooth and shiny, natural, or wavy hair. Um, 
So bam, that's a good that's a good alternative. I mean, it comes in a bottle like Escrow No Drip, but chances are it's about the same. So you could even think about getting something like this. I don't personally use this hair, this stuff because my hair doesn't need it. I use this for my son's hair because he has coarser hair than me. Um, so yeah, I think I ran through all the things that I wanted to touch um, as far as starting out. Um, so just to recap, um, cutting your hair to a size number, uh, a number three guard with the grain. That's a good choice to start out with. Um, going out and get you some some uh, crown brushes right off the bat. Uh, preferably a medium, but if you have to settle for a soft, go ahead and get the soft. Um, another product that is good for the first two weeks is castor oil. Get this stuff, if anything. All right. Um, tip number three was, should I um, should I do it at day or night? Uh, preferably nighttime, but you know it doesn't really matter when you put your products in. Whenever you do make it to that to that third third week. Um, First two weeks, um, it's vital to keep brushing. That, that's just just a given. And into every single week after that, brushing is is the key to success with waves. Um, and then, it, when should you start using curl enhancing smoothly? That's going to be like week five, if I had to recommend. And then another thing is S curl. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't use that product. Um, an alternative to that would be the uh, beautiful textures moisture butter that's those are my recommendations I hope that can kinda get the ball rolling um, oh yeah I forgot a little tip 2A should you uh, still wash your hair every day or twice a week I recommend twice a week no matter what and do rag at night no matter what alright um, but only wear your do rag at night if you do ragging it in the first two weeks only at night okay the other hours of the day that you're awake and you're and you're free, your hands are free. Brush your hair. All right. So I think I covered everything. Um, if there's any other tips that or any other tips that you need for starting out that I didn't cover, um, chances are you're thinking about it too much. <laughs> to be honest, I mean you're thinking about. I mean, really, all you need to br do is brush. Anything else is just adding to it. So. Um, but if there is something that I forgot, because I might just be stupid right now, um, definitely inbox me. Um, but, you know, do yourself a favor and subscribe to my videos. Um, I think I hit you guys up with a decent amount of information as far as what things work for straight hair. Um, there's not too many people with straight hair that have waves to show you that, you know, that is justifiable as far as getting waves. Um... <clears throat> but yes, it is possible. So I think, you know, if you follow what I'm telling you and you use the methods that I have, I think that I'm that I'm pretty sure that you can get them. So uh, continue to watch all my videos. Um, subscribe. Tell your grandmother to subscribe. Tell your grandfather to subscribe. Tell your aunts and uncles, um, nephews, nieces, anybody um, can subscribe to this channel. Um, and anybody can hit me up with questions. Um, as far as uh, progress, I'm moving on to, actually today is Monday, so I'm, I'm hitting week 12, okay? So this is week 12. I'm not going to show you my hair though. Just got out of the shower, put some curl, curl enhancing smoothie in it. Um, and uh, But I will hit you guys up tomorrow, Tuesday, um, with it with a progress video. I hope, that, I hope that can help you guys as far as starting out. Um, also, real quick. Um, I will be starting some uh, product review videos on a couple things that I got in the mail. Um, just still using them um, to give you a proper review. So if it doesn't come for another week or two, forgive me, but um, I will be hitting you guys up with those videos. And then also I mentioned a few weeks ago about um, a contest. Um, what I was thinking about doing is, is um, picking out <clears throat> and... I, really, I usually don't like to judge people, but I have no other way of doing it. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, a straight, the best 360 waves with straight hair videos. Um, so yes, that means that you white boys out there, you have to get your game up. 
and um, make me a quick video response to a video. I'm not going to say when it is. I'll definitely hit you guys up with a video um, explaining the contest in more of detail, what the prizes will be. And then from that video that you watch, that I explain everything, you'll make a video response to that, showing me your, your waves. Um, and then uh, I'll pick out a winner, and I'll hit you up with some, pro with some, uh, some toys. Um, not toys. Um, products. For all you product junkies out there, um, I'll hit you guys up with some stuff that'll, that'll be beneficial to uh, hopefully enhance your 360s. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for me right now. I already took up 20 minutes of your time. Um, and uh, I hope that helps you guys. Hit me up with some questions. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, keep rushing. All right, peace.